Over the past four years or so, my wife and I have bought abandoned storage units on online auctions in hopes of finding treasure. What you're about to see are the biggest finds we've ever made, including the biggest jackpot we've ever hit in our entire lives. We paid $100 for this unit. This is it. Whoa! I see a Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Pretty sweet find right off the bat. Games. <laughs> PS4 games. Oh! Hey, a PS4 controller. Awesome. Stuck in this cup. What game is this? Rygar? Is that a good one? Oh, yes. <gasps> Bay! What? Holy cow. Game Boy Colors. I don't know what that is. This is awesome. We're already like in profit here in this one little bin. Why is this so heavy, Bay? <gasps> yeah. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. That is a lot. This, this is foreign currency, so I don't know how much it actually is worth in American dollars. What's, what's their currency called? Yen? Maybe. Or is that? Japanese. I mean, that's Gandhi, so that's probably rupees. Yes. This might be his rookie card, because this is when he was in college. That could be worth something. That's why it's in that hard case. Another one down that. here. Another one down here in a hard case. Ryan Leaf. This Bose, these Bose systems speakers are pretty nice. So this unit from the pictures looks pretty good. We spent a little over $600 for this unit. There's three safes in this thing. One, two, Those three. are safes? Oh, that looks dangerous. That's why you're not allowed to touch that. That thing's bigger than you. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we have a key for this though. Yeah, how are we gonna get in this? Ooh, a bat. <laughs> Break into the safe. Yeah, right here. No, that one doesn't fit. Oh. No. Whoa. Ammo. Oh man. That means that. That means there's probably. probably... Alright, we got the safes home. Take your dad's crowbar. Sure can't be All right, so nothing real good in there. Ooh. 500 rounds of 22. Oh, yeah, nice. Careful, you don't know if it's loaded or not. Walter, P22. There's this. There's Savage. a key on it, though. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, holy. Oh, no. Oh. That looks like what the thing this? out of a video game. Oh, it's a 22 LR. Isn't that a silencer on the end? It's like a mafia storage unit. I think this storage unit was definitely worth it. Definitely a payoff. This is a five by 10. We paid uh, about 200 bucks for it. About 200 bucks. Oh. That means more than $200. It smells musty in here. Ah! Tanning crystals. Fragile. Dad. Is it an urn? Oh, no, Dude. no, 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 I don't want no. Dude, are you kidding me? I don't know, but you just said urn. Is it though? I think it is. All right, we're gonna. Ooh. Whoa. Silver China. Silver. It's Contour. China, right? Yeah. Sterling. Got some personal stuff. Okay. That right there is an urn. <laughs> Oh! Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't really want. It says we dad on it. Him. So. Okay. Yep. I will take that. No problem. Thank I'll you take it. so him. much. No, I'll take it. No problem. So we bought this storage unit for $30. She just took, took the lock off, but she left this on. <clears throat> see if we can get it. See what we got. Woo! Water! What do we got? <gasps> what? A MacBook? Are you serious? Oh, baby! Game Boy Color? Game Boy Color. See the blue thing right there? It's a GameCube. Oh, and there's a Sega Genesis, too. Oh, look at that. A Nintendo Switch game. Is it inside? It is! It's in there! 
There you go. Thank you very much. So we spent $310 on this unit. Take those off, because I don't want anybody to see what those are. That is pretty wild. It's I a bulletproof vest. I feel stuck. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da Another one. Wow. These feel like little dice ones. What do you got? Holy moly. <laughs> wow. Matrix hey, tactical. Yep. Somebody was into airsoft. Yeah. This is a softer type of air. <laughs> Ooh! Now for a quick public service announcement by Pam. People, don't put your nasty trash in your storage unit. This has been a quick public service announcement by Pam. I see some maybe video games. Got some video games. Black Ops 2. And we got Modern Warfare 2. And we got Modern Warfare 3. Oh, this is new with tags. Look at that. Oh, Modern Warfare for Xbox One. Oh, it's in there. Battlefield 4. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, what the heck are you doing? I'm going through Ben's, what are you doing? This is a Meraki MX-7, whatever the heck that is. It sounds like a vacation. So hit that like button. That's something we can tell you guys about doing storage units if you've never done one before is they are a ton of work. They're a lot of fun. It's like Christmas morning and you never know what you're gonna find. The worst part is it's usually a total gamble. So you can work your butt off and make some really good profit, but you can also do the same thing and make nothing. Oh, I'll we'll have to give this back. Literally a social security card. Now for a quick public service announcement by Pam. Don't be stealing people's identities. That's <laughs> not nice. This has been a quick public service announcement by Pam. Oh, more tools? Oh, Call of Duty Ghost. Oh, another Call of Duty Ghost for Xbox One. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, wow. What is that? Well, I know what it is, but. Combat machine. Airsoft. That's nice. Well, I think we definitely made our money back in this unit. Thank you very much. Yep, have fun. We spent $1,080 on this storage unit. If this unit doesn't have anything good, this will be a very expensive video. I think this is one of those electric bikes. Yeah, so we we're just doing some research on this bike here. This is an e-bike. It's got a throttle, but we we're just looking online. I found the exact bike for $2,199. This is worth, obviously brand new. <laughs> this is pre-owned, but I'd say that's a score. We bought an abandoned storage unit for a whopping $1,200. This is definitely the most money I've ever spent on a unit. What you're about to see is the biggest jackpot we have ever hit in our entire lives. Ooh. Right down bottom right there. The big, beautiful, magnificent safe. I'm gonna cut along this right here. Got metal shooting into my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna true. She's strong. Oh. <laughs> we have this one last box here. So let me haul it over. Yep. More train models. This is exciting. We've got a ton. We've got an entire box full of really, it feels like high end trains. All nice and sealed. Wow. These trains could pay for the unit. Look at them all. We got iron horse, boxes and boxes of them. Awesome. These trains are money. I'll try to pull them out and estimate how much all of them are worth, but it's gonna take a little bit of research. So this was absolutely insane. We got all of the trains home. Most of these trains were brass locomotive. Most of them were made in Japan or Korea. There's even one particular model that we have that there's only 33 of them in the entire world. We actually already sold that exact model for $1,500. Here's an example of one of the brass trains right here. We listed every single train and the grand total value of all the trains is a whopping $11,600. It's actually a little bit more than that because that's not including shipping or anything like that. They sold incredibly fast and it's just mind blowing. It's definitely the biggest score we've ever made. Yeah! If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed because there is new content coming soon. We have been filming, we have been working on some new videos for you guys, so that is coming very soon. Another thing I want to mention, if you want to see some content that Pam and I have been working on over the past few months that you might not have known about, we did start a podcast over on our other channel. I will link the podcast down below. We have quite a few episodes out already if you are interested in that sort of thing. See you soon.